Hello, welcome to the introduction to the Landsweeper API, where I'm going to tell you how you can use the Landsweeper API, why you should use it, and all the options available. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, first order of business is why should you integrate with Landsweeper? Now, obviously, Landsweeper has a ton of data on your devices, and it is very interesting to use that data in other tools and platforms as well. And that's why we create integrations so that you can use Landsweeper's data to enrich other use cases, other tools, um, and get the Landsweeper data in whatever kind of scenario that you need it to be in. So one thing to mention before we continue is that the API, the asset API is something that is available in cloud only. Um, so if you want to use Landsweeper's data in other tools, you will have to start and create your Landsweeper Cloud site so that you have your data in Landsweeper Cloud and that you can use it with other tools. Um, and another notice is that at the moment, we only allow data to be pushed to other tools. So there is no data insertion into Landsweeper, um, but we are continuously updating the API. We are adding new features, uh, new components as well. So it is not unlikely that in the future, obviously, we will allow you to also add data into Landsweeper from other tools. Um, now, the Landsweeper API uses a GraphQL API. That's also important to know if you want to start creating your own integration. And we allow or we have two types of authentication in the Landsweeper API. You can either use OAuth2 authentication or you can use a personal token. Um, additionally, if you want to do Basically, right now, the only option is to do data retrieval, um, but you have two options there. You can either do a bulk export of your data, so basically uh, sending all of your data or sending all the data to uh, another tool. Um, this would be useful, for example, if you want to do or if you do an integration or create an integration for a CMDB where you want to have that one big kind of one database that has all of your IT data, all of the data that you need, basically. You want to send all of Landsweeper's data to that CMDB. That's where the bulk export would come into play. Um, on the other hand, you can also do paginated. Um, so you get data page by page. This would be more suitable for something like a help desk integration or some kind of security integration where you don't necessarily need all the data, but you're looking for more specific types of data. Now, the next option that you also have is webhooks. So we do support webhooks where obviously you can create actions when certain events take place. Um, there are obviously at the moment a limited number of actions that you can start to create webhooks on, but we will, as I mentioned, we are continuously improving it. That's one of the areas we also want to improve in. So you want to add more actions, more things uh, that you can start creating webhooks on. Um, then the last thing I want to mention is when it comes to reporting. Um, now we've recently added the option for you to expose reports to the API. That means that when you've created a report and you've at least run it once so that there's you know, results in there, you can expose it to the API, meaning that all of the results that are in that report will be exposed through the API and you, you can use that data then in other integrations or in other solutions. So if you want to basically grab a filtered list of data, you can create a report to create that filtered list, and then you can expose it to the API and grab the data for your integration. Uh, as I mentioned, there's more stuff to come in the future, more things to come. Uh, we're continuously improving it. The last thing I want to notice uh, or I want to uh, indicate as well is that there is a documentation on the API. Um, so you can find the documentation on everything that I just mentioned and a lot more in Landsweeper Cloud. Um, it will be somewhere under your profile settings. You can find it and also be linked under the video as well. So you can easily find the documentation to get all of the details on what is the API, how does it work, what calls can you do, um, anything basically you might want to have to create your own integration um, or in the next video, we'll, uh, we'll take a look as well at the marketplace and how you can get started with integration that we've already created. So to learn more, you can head over to the next video to get started.